Michael Bisping was hailed for his spirit and bravery after stepping up to fight Kelvin Gastelum on short notice, but he might have wished he hadn't. The 38-year-old was choked unconscious by Georges Estipierre less than three weeks ago, surrendering his middleweight title in the process, during a disappointing end to his reign at the top of the 185 pounds division, but that didn't stop him volunteering to replace Anderson Silva in the main event at UFC Shanghai, taking on explosive rising star Gastelum with barely time to hit the gym between fights. The bookies expected a tough night for Bisping, with Gastelum heavily fancied for a win via stoppage against the veteran. Getty Michael Bisping was brutally knocked out by Kelvin Gastelum at UFC Shanghai and, halfway through the very first round, he delivered, connecting with a devastating left hook on the chin to bring the fight to an end before it had really begun. It was a heavy knockout, one that had fans calling for the Manchester man to consider his future in the sport, this fight should be. Never happened. Hope Bisping takes a nice long vacation after this, one viewer wrote. Getty the 38-year-old is one of the UFC's most successful fighters of all time. The Ultimate Fighting Championship has often been labelled a cruel blood sport by campaigners and, looking at these pictures, it's not hard to see why Zuffer LLC via Getty Images Brendan O'Reilly spits out blood during his lightweight fight with Zhang Lipeng in Macau in 2014. Another said, Bisping came back way too early after getting dropped by GSP just three. Weeks ago, he's a warrior, but I also think he's just trying to finish his contract and cash out. Still, he should take safer fights with more time in between so. He doesn't take so much damage, his last two fights included a ton of damage and probably two concussions in just about a month, following the biggest win of his career, Gastelum. Called out interim middleweight champion Robert Whittaker, even suggesting he would travel to the Aussies' backyard to challenge him at UFC 221 in Perth. Related articles.